Hello everybody, welcome to UKPM Survival and Outdoors here on YouTube and in this latest UK Prepper Man video we're going to be talking about frost. Stay tuned. So what is frost? Well frost is my way of remembering five important weekly checks to do to my vehicle. Now with winter approaching it's more important than ever in my opinion that these checks are done. So I'm just going to put it out there, this is not a uh, an advanced mechanics video okay this is for anybody who maybe is not mechanically minded but just wants to make sure that their vehicle is running and doing these five checks is going to mean there's going to be less problems later on all right so without further ado um f stands for fuel obviously it goes without saying you have to have fuel in your vehicle for the vehicle to run and i choose to keep no less than half a tank worth of fuel in the vehicle at any one time okay we've all seen situations where especially come bad weather and other situations there's fuel shortages garages are closed there's queues problem after problem after problem so having that half a tank is reassurance don't let it run right down to the red light or the the red marker because you know you run out of fuel then uh, you're going to have a bit of a problem, okay? Um, I use super diesel, and through personal choice, it returns a uh, better fuel economy than uh, standard diesel. Um, I'm doing about 53 miles per gallon at the moment, so it's not too shabby for a car that's uh, of its age and the, you know, the style of driving and the journeys that I'm making, all right? So, uh, you know, it's a good idea to have uh, spare fuel, maybe a spare fuel can in the car i keep an empty one um you can store fuel if you want to in your vehicle um, just make sure it's secured and again if you wanted to keep spare fuel at your property there's a limit um at time of filming it was 20 liters in two 10 liter fuel cans and two five liter plastic ones so 30 liters was the maximum in that sort of uh, denomination but it's going to vary okay and it might change it's going to be different for anybody who's watching this in other parts of the world so uh, 30 litres is a half a tank I'd rather have half a tank than uh, you know no no spare fuel okay but change it out make sure that it's not uh, just going on there month after month after month because uh, you know you could have problems with the, the fuel degrading over a long period of time all right um, so that's fuel um, next letter R stands for rubber well four tires on the car and one in the back as a spare so you know when when i'm washing the vehicle i'm checking the tires making sure that the tires are in good condition that there's no cuts uh, bulges or problems with the tires um make sure that the brushes are correct as well and make sure your tread depth is right so tread depth first in the uk the minimum is 1.6 millimeters um if you have less than two millimeters and you take your car in for an, M M an mot then the MOT tester might um, give you an advisory and tell you that you need to change your tyres soon. And the reason for that is obviously if it goes below 1.6 millimetres and you get stopped, then you can get um, fined. And I think um, at one point it was £60 per um, illegal tyre and three points on your licence. So not you know, it can be quite expensive to, if you do that. And of course safety. Yeah, make sure that your tyres are, you know, you don't want to be driving around with bald tyres, um, especially come, uh, you know, the bad weather. Um, you've only got a small surface area. It's worthwhile making sure those tyres are okay. So check the condition of the tyres. Check the uh, the tread depth is correct. Also check the pressures. Um, your um, easiest way of doing that is when the tyres are cold, um, use a pressure gauge just make sure that uh, you are referring to the uh, the correct pressures for your type of tires and your type of load they'll be either in your handbook or they will be on the inside of the filler cap on your vehicle okay in this case of this one it is um and all i need to do is make sure that if they need to be pumped up a little bit more a bit more air in them i can do that with the the foot pump all right um Check your spare, make sure your spare tyre is okay as well. And then, you know, if anything needs to be replaced, you've got the time to uh, to replace them. While we're on the subject of rubber, the uh, um, there is rubber on your windscreen wipers. The windscreen wiper blades need to be checked. We've all driven cars where they've juddered. Um, there could be grease on the windscreen. There could be problems with the, uh, um, the actual blade itself. So make sure that you check for any nicks or cuts or anything like that. And consider keeping spare blades. You know, they're not expensive to keep. Uh, they don't take a lot of space. Just order them online, have them delivered, and they, you know, they are there when you, uh, you need them. All right. Um, 
Talking about windscreen wipers, I'm just going to jump in and mention about screen wash. Um, obviously, winter time, um, you're going to be you know, cleaning your windscreen an awful lot more, so it's worthwhile making sure good quality screen wash is used that protects um, below freezing. Um, the stuff I use will protect down to about minus 15. In truth, I've never had any problems. It's never frozen. Um, I do keep spares as well because, uh, you know, you can never have too much. And I just pour this in neat at uh, the end of the day. I don't dilute it down or any of that, unless, of course, it's you know, a, a baking hot summer. But it's so cheap, it, you know, just use it. And it's, uh, you know, it, it is there. You need to be able to see where you're going. Maybe keep some spare in the car as well if you've got enough space. Um, so that's your screen wash. But while we're under the bonnet, um, the next one is O oh, for oil, all right? Dead, dead important to make sure your oil levels are correct. Don't put too much oil in if you're going to top it up because uh, that can lead to problems and, you know, leaks and, you know, even causing uh, dramatic uh, issues with your car burning oil or maybe even running on the oil. So, you know, I don't want to be too dramatic, but just check your oil. On this, it's as simple as taking the dipstick out, wiping it clean, putting it back in, when you pull it back out again, it'll show the reading between the two uh, demarkers, and that's pretty much, uh, you know, bob on there. Um, if you need to top it up, you can. If it's using a lot of oil, it could be a little bit sick. It might need to go to the garage. It might need a mechanic's attention, okay? Um, but it's worthwhile checking your oil, and again, keep some spare oil at uh, your property or in your vehicle, you know, if needed, all right? Um, S stands for servicing. Okay, if you haven't booked your car in for a service or had it serviced for a while, now is the time to do it, okay? Before the weather gets really bad, um, get a mechanic, a qualified, trained, experienced mechanic to check your vehicle, okay? It, okay, you can do DIY servicing, all right? There are people out there that can do DIY servicing, but in truth, vehicles are getting more complicated, okay? Um, so if you're not confident to do it um, or you haven't got the time to do it, then uh, get it into the, your... Um, garage workshop whatever to get it serviced okay i choose now to have my car serviced that is a choice because of time um i don't have the time to service my own vehicles so uh, i will take it to somebody who can a good mechanic is worth their weight in gold so find a good one use them stay loyal to them and uh, you know it'll pay dividends okay it's not cheap to get your car serviced any where between 100 to over 300 pounds for a service depending on where you take it and what vehicle and what needs to be done but you know at the very least the car vehicle needs to be oil changed at least once a year or every 10,000 miles okay that is the absolute bare minimum all right um I choose to take mine in early. I normally get mine uh, serviced every 8,000 miles, and uh, that means that's better for me, okay? But just follow the instructions, and, you know, if in doubt, see a mechanic. They will do the necessary checks to make sure that, you know, small problems can be fixed before they become bigger problems, okay? And there's other routine things that need to be done to your vehicle as well, things like cam belts if need be changed you know that is a mechanic's job in my opinion all right so find a good one um in the uk we've got a thing called the good garage scheme okay um this isn't a, a plug you know i'm not being sponsored or anything to uh um, to say this but uh, um there is a thing called a good garage scheme it's worthwhile checking out all right just go online and uh, you'll find that uh, if you put your uh, postcode in you can find a list of garages which, uh, you know, are approved or accredited, you know, under this scheme. They have reviews. You can see what other customers have thought. So that could be a good starting off point, OK? There's probably other sites as well you can check. Maybe you just want to take it to your uh, your main dealer. But, you know, that's going to obviously cost you more money. All right. So uh, that is for servicing. Get your vehicle service. Make sure it is running tip top as the bad weather approaches. T stands for testing. So let's let's test some things okay test the battery dead easy to do that okay uh, all you need is a battery tester um i bought mine from a german supermarket in the uk uh, about uh, five years ago cost less than five pounds and uh, all you do is attach it to the battery and it will show a reading you can see it's showing a nice healthy green reading which means that the battery is charged you can actually test the charging ability of the battery and the alternator by leaving it connected and starting the vehicle and that will actually then show that the battery is being charged 
batteries get hammered this time of year guys it's it, you know it's the nature of it you're going to have heaters on you're going to have lights on it's going to cause uh, you know you know the battery to uh, to wear and batteries will wear out you know I think a typical battery or this one um, you can do maybe 5,000 starts okay after that it's gonna it's gonna wear out it's gonna need changing so if you're finding that the car's not starting properly um, and other things maybe get the battery changed you know um, but test it and see and if in doubt maybe take it to a garage no garage is going to charge you for testing a battery i i find you know um you know it is it, it, quick test and you know worst case at least you know that you need to change the uh, the battery uh, over before it fails completely all right so test your battery test your coolant um although a garage will change the coolant as part of its uh, service um normally about every four years or so depending on what's required if you have a cam belt and water pump change um you know you lose some coolant there so that might need to be uh, changed then but you know it's it's a mechanic's uh, opinion you know on how often that would get changed for yourselves um just top it up make sure that it is uh, between the uh, you know at least at the minimum level and you need to make sure you've got enough antifreeze in it okay so you can get a little meter which uh, will test the antifreeze content of your coolant and uh, it's got this one's got little floating markers in so all you do is dip it into the tank make sure that the engine's cold or you can get uh, you know just get scalded by the steam off this because it's pressurized and uh, just put a bit of coolant in there it'll show how much antifreeze is in and uh, normally I, I think they say it's a 50 50 mix of uh, antifreeze and distilled water okay so uh, you, you know you can again keep some spare um like with your spare oil keep some spare coolant you know so you have that at home keep some spare antifreeze okay while you're under the bonnet, check all the things out. You check your screen wash. You checked your oil. You've checked your uh, um, your coolant. You checked your battery. Um, have a quick wipe round, maybe with a cloth and a bit of WD-40, just to see if there's any leaks or anything that's come loose. You know, it's a good idea to keep the engine bay you know, relatively clean, um, and then you can find, you know, see if there's any problems. You can spot them. Um, good idea to make sure that any catches are sort of lubricated i use just some, some white grease on there and that you know you know can make things a, a little bit easier and it's just the way i am you know so it's a good idea to make sure that you test um a few things and outside a vehicle test your lights make sure that your lights are all working um front and rear um keep some spare bulbs in my breakdown kit i do keep some spare bulbs um so it's you know if one blows i can instantly change it over okay and if you're struggling again you know you get somebody to take change those for you all right so there we have it that is really the um the, the, the sort of the nuts and bolts pardon the pun of the of the video okay um five simple checks anybody can do you know it's worthwhile doing it look the weather's getting bad when winter comes that's when there's more breakdowns fact okay it might be a case that uh, you do break down and it's unavoidable have some kit okay if you want to check out um, one of my other videos um which is my breakdown kit check it out because uh, you know that's again simple stuff that you know you can buy for not much money and keep with you in the vehicle in case there's a problem but you know make sure that you've got you know hat warm jacket and of course a coffee with you um if you you know on a long journey keep some water with you keep hydrated look after yourself but i don't want to go off too far onto that that may be a different sort of video about car edc i've done a video previously about that which again you know have a look through the the playlist there and you can see uh, some of the videos i've done the weather's getting uh, bad at the moment so you know again good idea keep the car clean um mine's looking nice and shiny now i know i'm going to drive it 100 yards it's going to be filthy again but you know a bit of pride I'll look after the vehicle and make sure it's okay. Four tyres on the vehicle, or well, there was the last time I looked, but uh, on a weekly basis. And uh, the five uh, letters in frost uh, of the, the... thing you want is obviously to have a flat or a slow puncture and uh, So, if you've enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe. And uh, any comments, love to hear them. Check out my other videos. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching and bye for now.